Amen. Amen. We've come into this house to worship the Lord, for the Lord has been mighty, mighty good to us. So let us praise him. Amen. At this time, we have devotion. Amen. Let's say amen for them and help them out also. Amen. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. God told Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy today is mine. God told Satan, get thee behind. Joy today is mine. Happiness is mine. Happiness is mine. Happiness today is mine. God told Satan, get thee behind. Happiness today is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy today is mine. God told Satan, get thee behind. Joy today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. God told Satan, was which had been dead whom he raised from the dead mm -hmm. there, there they made him a supper and mouth and served but Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him then, then took Mary a pound of ointment and of spike, spike nard, very costly and atoned the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair and the house was filled with the odor of the ointment then said one of the disciples, mm -hmm. Judas Ascrot, Simon is the son of Simon's son, which should betray him. Why has why was not his ointment sold for the three hundred pence and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. And had the bag, and there was put therein. Then Jesus said, Let her alone against the day of my bearing, as she kept this. For the poor always ye have with you, but me ye have not always. I read for you St. John chapter 12, verses 1 through 8. May the Lord have blessed the reading of this word for the application of our soul. Let us pray here. <clears throat> oh, merciful, humble Father, we come to say thank you. Yes, Lord. You have been our dwelling place of hope for today and for tomorrow. Well. You have made a way out of no way. We come, Lord, now, Lord, just not to complain, but to give you some honest thanks. Down through the years, yes, yes. thou has been good to us. Yes. We come, Lord, say thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, yeah. who was born in the manger, fox of holes, bird of nests, but the son of man hands away to his head. He died. But early Sunday morning, he rose with all power in this hand yes. and because 
he rose all power in his hands. We can rise above our situations, our circumstances. No matter what we're going through, Father God, thou art with us. You are our Emmanuel. Yes. We ask you, Father God, now, Lord, thou forgive for our sins, those unknown and those unknown. Watch the Father God in the blood of the Lamb. Become Lord, say, thank you, Father God, for you have dealt with us according to our sins and iniquities. You have been good to us, Father God, and you allow our golden moments to roll on once more again. Someone said, I woke up this morning with my mind said on me. Someone this morning said, if I can just get to the church house, everything's going to be all right. You are a doctor, Father God, and this is a hospital. And we realize we're all are sick. But one touch, Father God, from a chief physician will make everything all right. We need you, Lord, we can't do without you. We have tried everything else, Lord, but we found out, Lord, there's nothing like you. Thank you, Father God, for a roof of our heads, a piece of bread to eat on, a piece of garment to wear, Father God, a little money in our pockets, and a little bit goes along with you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for Jesus Christ, who sits on the right hand of our Father, pleading the cases. Thank you, Father God, for this day. Over our hearts, our mind, and our ears, that we may receive the gospel of Jesus Christ and tell the world, because you live, they too can face tomorrow. Now, Lord, spread us for the journey, Father God's ahead. Keep us, Lord, in perfect peace. For Christ, that we do pray. Amen. Amen, amen. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I'm walking and talking with my mind stayed on Jesus. I'm walking and talking with my mind stayed on Jesus. I'm walking and talking with my mind stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, singing and praying with my mind, stayed on Jesus, I'm singing and praying with my mind, stayed on Jesus, I'm singing and praying with my mind, stayed on Jesus, hallelujah. There's no harm to keep your mind stayed on Jesus. There's no harm to keep your mind stayed on Jesus. There's no harm to keep your mind stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Well, we want to thank you for participating in our devotion. Now we'll turn it over to the music ministry for, for our congressional song. Amen. Keep your mind staying on Jesus. Amen. have made it so easy for us to go into our congregational song along with Reverend 
Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Reverend D. Walton, yeah, okay. Because I heard in his prayer several names that uh, he referenced God by. And then I heard this deacon say, it's no harm to keep your mind stayed on Jesus. So all of that put together tells us that we have a great God. I ask that you stand with us as we sing our congregational hymn that you'll find on the back of your bulletin. How great is our God. himself in light and darkness tries to hide it trembles at his voice trembles at his voice how great is our God see with me how great is our God and all will see how great how great at this time. Ring it out. How great is our God. Come on. 
Come on, sing it like you believe it. Come on, come on, come on, you believe it? How great? Think about how great God is. Woke you up this morning, started you on your way. How great, how great is our God. One more time. Make it personal. How great is my God? Come on here. Oh, how great is my God? How great is my God? How great, how great is the Lord. Thank you. To God be the glory for the great things he is doing. Let's hear from our greeter at this time. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Giving honor to God, to pastor, and to the church. We have set aside this time to acknowledge all of our first-time visitors. If you are a first-time visitor, please stand, state your name, your church's name, your pastor's name, and remain standing. morning. Remain standing for another moment, please. Okay. Well, you are more than welcome. I hope that you come back. Remember to invite family and friends and those on Facebook. You can always come out to worship with us at 315 East at 161st Place in South Holland, Illinois. Amen. Oh, I'm so glad to be here with you. I'm really glad to be here with you. And Christian fellowship, praising the Lord together. So glad to be here with you. I'm really glad. Okay, now touch the one beside you and say, pray the Lord. Touch the one in front of you and say, pray the Lord. Touch the one behind you and say, pray the Lord. Okay, now touch yourself and say, pray the Lord. Okay, now touch those all around you and say, pray the Lord, somebody ought to touch King Jesus and say, pray the Lord, won't you say it with me? So glad to be here with you. I'm really glad, so glad to be here with you. I'm really glad. I said I'm glad. I'm really glad. I said I'm glad. I'm really glad. I said I'm glad. I'm really glad. I'm really glad. I'm really glad. I'm really glad. So glad to be here with you. Amen. Amen. The 
listen, if you're not glad after that, uh, we're going to take you to the doctor. Amen. What a wonderful day it is. God is good. Thank you so much for visiting with us on today. And uh, to each of you, it's so good to see you. I love you and how thankful we are. And those of you who are viewing us uh, on Facebook and on YouTube, I love you as well. I am so thankful to the Lord for another day. You know, amen, amen, amen. I wake up in the morning glad that I woke up. And then in, in my right mind, amen, I put this jacket on and I'm looking, you know, I'm, I'm looking pretty tight with it. Uh, even with a t-shirt, I know that, thank you very much. But now my point for saying that is, I didn't put my legs in where the arms go. I'm in my right mind. Amen, amen, amen. I looked in the mirror and discovered I didn't have to brush or comb my hair. I'm in my right mind. Look at the person next to you and ask, are you in your right mind? <laughs> amen, amen. You know, each week I try and say something that um, brings a little humor, a little laughter. Yes. Some people think that when you're in church and if you say you're not supposed to laugh anymore, you run into some of those people who yes. brag about how they used to live when they were in the world. When a child, when I was in the world, they called me shake a tail feather. I did this, I did that, I stayed up all night, I drunk so much, and I did this. And then one day, I got saved, came to Jesus, just like I was, weary, worn, and said, I'd be, one, I'd be sitting back there listening to them, I said, well, maybe you need to leave Jesus and go back in the world. Look like you had more joy out in the world than you did. But how many of you know when you get on the Lord's side, you, your joy is enhanced? Yes. Amen. Your peace. Because you not only understand the things that you're going through, but you understand that there's a brighter day ahead. And so no cross, no crown. So what a, what a great day it is for us to be alive and well. Today is our t-shirt day. Uh, thank those of you who uh, decided that you would, would wear your t-shirts. And um, uh, we certainly want you to know others of you who do not have t-shirts, uh, they are available. You can see any member of our media team. They have a very fine display downstairs. So we certainly want to thank you. On next Sunday, following our benediction, we do have a, a church outing at the St. Matthias. Uh, Missionary Baptist Church. They are located at 8700 South on Emerald Avenue. Now they are sharing space there so you will not uh, see their name on the property or the building, but uh, that's where the Reverend Donald Bell is pastor. And so we will be um, uh, speaking, ministering there. The choir is asked to render music. That's going to be next Sunday at 11 o'clock. Um, our Mother's Day brunch is uh, uh, coming up real quickly here. Uh, we met with our uh, with a group, and um, so that's going to be the 11th of May, the Saturday before Mother's Day. And as many as care to be out for that, um, that's going to be a brunch from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Uh, promise to have a great, great time and some. Um, some entertainment uh, and some good food and good more than that fellowship and we will be doing the same for Father's Day having a Father's Day brunch that will be the Saturday before Father's Day and so we ask that you would mark your calendars now those of you planning to be away or have other things scheduled uh, that's understandable uh, but that won't stop us from doing what we do uh, we want to, um, that's a time, another time of fellowship. And as a believer, uh, we want to draw people, right? Yeah. 
It's on. I ain't think they heard me. I, you know, we want to draw people, not drive them. Amen. And the way you get friends is by showing yourself friendly. Amen. We want uh, people, even when they come and visit us, want them to come back. And we want them to be glad when they leave here. We want them to say, I was glad when they said unto me, let's go into the house of the Lord. So we are grateful to the Lord for that. Uh, the mayor's prayer breakfast is uh, coming up real quick. That's going to be next month, the first. It's always the first um, Thursday in the month of May, which is National Prayer Day. And um, they will have seats. We'll see the right Reverend um, that Surrett. Bless your heart. Good to see you, brother. Uh, one of our members of uh, South Holland Ministers Association. Good friend. Saw his wife the other day. Did she tell you? Okay. Okay. Whew. I don't want to. I don't want to just go home happy and smiling, you know, and not tell you why. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but uh, so it's going to be a table of nine. The tickets are ten dollars each. Uh, you can see our secretary, Sister Linda Davis, for those persons who uh, would be in attendance. Um, and so get 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 those uh, while it's hot. It's ten dollars, and you can give that uh, money to Sister Linda, so that when we get there for the prayer breakfast at seven thirty, I believe it is, um, you won't have to be standing in long lines waiting. Uh, you'll be able to go right to um, our table. And of course, if you get there early enough, we get priority seating. Otherwise, we get what's left over. So that's going to be on National Day of Prayer, the first um, Thursday of next month. Uh, we're still encouraging those of you who uh, can stand and upgrade on your phones to um, go ahead and get yourself a an updated phone. Um, a nice, get a nice Android phone, or uh, if your preference is Apple, uh, get yourself a nice Apple phone. Or uh, I think now the cup and the string is over. Um, anybody remember the cup and the string? A couple, a couple of people remember. I don't know why they're trying to act like they had cell phones all their lives. You know you used to get those Dixie cups and tie some thread. <laughs> okay. You know, you know, you haven't always had halos. You know what a halo is, don't you? The halos when you used to eh, 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 halo. Okay, so I'm a little slow today, but y'all be all right. Y'all gonna catch on. For those of you who are visiting with us, um, this is your first time uh, in your bulletins you and on the walls you'll find the QR codes um, for those who will uh, be making their contributions. But if you brought a check or cash, then go ahead and envelop it and you can see any of our ushers anytime during our worship service um, as we don't pause now to do that time of um, offertory. We want to keep everything moving and keep things um, safe and sound. Is that all right? It's all right. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to remember that as we go into uh, this technological age that we are in, that's not going to go away. Um, time does not go in reverse, it moves forward. And so the church, uh, we also must be progressive. Yes. We don't want to um, move at a snail's pace, uh, but we want to move uh, as expeditiously as we possibly can. I want to thank those of you who are able to encourage uh, the Scott family on this uh, past Friday um, as the services uh, were for Mr. Oscar Scott. Thank you for praying and praying for each other, and we encourage you um, to keep praying. Prayer works. 
prayer really works. Um, thank you, uh, and thank those of you who's wearing your, your equal sacrifice buttons. Amen. We want you to be proud of what you're doing and how you're blessing uh, your church. We are hoping to bring some information on uh, what progress is being made or otherwise uh, by next Sunday on our project. All righty. Well, God bless your hearts. If you'll just now turn to somebody, look at them, if you can stand to look at them for a minute, and it would help to smile, you know. Uh, bro White, look at that fella next to you. You're looking at me. <laughs> uh, bro Kirkham, if you kind of turn around and look at that brother behind you there, I don't know what's so hard at of us looking at each other. I didn't see nobody in here ugly today. Everybody look good. Tell them I love you. All righty. All righty. Hey, Amen. Love you too. Thank you so very much want to always be able to engage with others. And you know, you never, you never know who needed that. You Listen, don't, don't ever take people for granted. Don't take people's smiling faces. Y'all know that church song, Smiling Faces? Tell lies. That was a church song, was it? No, well, the church was the one singing it. That's church, church. That you know, I just, I just always think all oh, these are church songs, you know, church songs, church dances, um, scunches, and you know, those kind of things. I'm um, dating myself now. Okay, well, listen, I think it's time for some music. What you think? Well, let me thank the Lord for our gifts, our God and our Father, for every gift and for every giver we do offer you thanks and praise. Now, let the offerings and the gifts of tithes and pledges be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom. Keep us, Lord, ever in your presence, and we'll be ever so careful to give your name the praise, and we're asking it all in the name of Jesus our conquering king and the people of God said amen our choir is going to come now and bless us Thank you. 
Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. Beginning at verse 25. Come on and help me if you will. Amazing grace. Find that passage. Come on and stand with us. Amazing grace, how sweet. See someone without the scripture, share your word with them. A wretch like me. Thank you, Lord. I once was lost, but now was blind, was blind, but now. Somebody said, through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Through many dangers, toils, I have. Was it? It was grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. church praise God that's it that's it praise God praise God lift your voices in the sanctuary praise God praise God praise God praise God preaching time and perhaps God has a word for you today don't worry about that next person now near you I want you to tune in to the Lord the Holy Spirit knows just what you need and he has something tailored just for you and so Jesus will put it this way they who have ears let them hear what the Spirit says unto the church.
verse 25. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood 12 years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garments. What is she saying? Touch, but his clothes I shall. Amen. I won't talk today from the subject, a stranger in the city healing. A stranger in the city healing. Amen. Ask your neighbor, do you know that stranger? Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. A stranger. Mark tells the story of a certain woman. When you, when you read that in scripture, when it says the certain, and doesn't really give the name of Nancy or Gertrude or Joy or Pat. Um, didn't say Sharon or Fanny. It just said a certain woman. That, that means it could be anyone. He talks about this woman who had suffered for 12 years of her life with a chronic issue of bleeding. This happened way back in the early first century. And she made every attempt to better her condition. Do you see her going to Northwestern and then going to Mercy Hospital? And she finally, her money started getting low. She went to the county hospital, checking out free clinics. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up to the snuff. She surfed the internet. Uh, even tried to self-medicate like many of us do today. Instead of going to the doctor, we say, well, let me see what they say on the internet, as if the internet is a doctor. And um, you eventually start running out of money. Walgreens close at a certain time. The Walmart said, we don't have what you need. And um, castor oil only goes so far. And eventually, you say, I need to do something a little different. Mark reveals that this woman had spent all that she had. She'd gone from doctor to doctor, specialist to specialist. You all know the routine, don't you? You go to your primary, and your primary has a buddy, and his buddy has a buddy, and she has another buddy. By the time you take x-rays and MRIs and uh, fast and uh, only to go back and they throw their shoulders up on you. You feel deceived, you feel, feel bewildered. You know, you start wondering, God, you know, what's, what's, what's really up? You know, I'm losing weight, I'm gaining weight, my hair falling out, my teeth falling out. Uh, my, my, my vision is blurry. Can hardly walk. Hurts to lay down, it hurts to stand, hurts to sit. Even hurts to think. You know, you know you're in trouble when it hurts to think. Anybody here understand that? And um, sometimes you just get tired of going to the doctor uh, because it's just so routine. Youngsters say, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, come on, old folks, talk to them. Keep on living. Yeah, keep living. Stuff is going to happen to you. Listen, it doesn't matter how black your hair is now. Keep living. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and, you know, because of modern technology and chemicals, um, you can keep your hair black. I thought about investing in some hair, and I said, no, I can use my money to buy a hamburger. And listen, it wasn't holding on to me. I said, I'm not going to hold on to it. Let it go. 
How I many you know there comes a time <laughs> when you have to be true to yourself and say, wait a minute, I'm no longer in that room I was once in. I'm in a new room. I'm in a new stage of life, a new development. And there are times when you have to just fess up and say, you know, honestly, I just, old Gray Mary, what, <laughs> what she used to be. Uh, anybody, any Gray Mares here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't none of us what we used to be. You keep living. You keep trying to act like, I still got it. Yeah, you do. You just don't know it. Your get up has gotten up and gone. <laughs> been in the storm too long and you need to understand that life is life and until we are ready to deal with death we're not ready to live we have to come to some terms in life this lady knew that she had spent all her pension her social security, I mean, she had borrowed from Peter to pay Paul. And she went back to Peter, Peter said, oh, no more, I ain't got nothing else to give you. Anybody ever been there? So she's broke and busted, and so she decides, I need to do something different. How many of you know insanity is you keep doing what you've always done, expecting a different outcome? How many of us just keep bumping our heads into the same wall, keep falling on the same patches of concrete? You know, concrete is not forgiving. Amen. You, you know, there's one thing to fall out on the bed, but honey, when you're falling out on concrete, you're going to feel that thing. I wish I was talking to folk who knew what I was talking about. And, and, and you can go through life with rose-colored glasses on if you want to, but honey, when the rubber meets the road, you're going to have to face up. And you're going to have to fess up. This is what this woman in our text today did. She knew that what she needed was a deliberate touch. She needed something that she could not get from mere humans. And listen, I am one who believe in doctors. I go to the doctor. I have faith in God. I know God is a healer. And I'm going to go to that doctor too. And thank the Lord I have some doctors who believe in the same Lord that I believe in. I have doctors who's not afraid these days to say, I'm praying for you. And, uh, you know, we see what the Lord say. Amen. How many of you remember the days when the doctors were the voice? And they ain't mentioned anything about God. And, and we just put all our trust and faith in the doctors. And the doctors and, and insurance companies and pharmaceuticals all start working together. And, and it's, it's a pretty lucrative business, I should say. Amen. It, it, it is. It is. And if I pity those who don't have medical insurance. Amen. But I also pity those who have it. Because if you have it, they love you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. They're going to invite you to come back again and again. And I think you ought to go as often as you need to go. But then there comes a time when you, perhaps you need to have a different conversation. Amen. Amen. She did what she needed to do. She had a conversation with herself. Listen, folks, they have said for years, if you talk to yourself, it's because you're crazy. Let me just shake the bush. Any crazy people here today? A lot of crazy. Yes, yes, yes. Praise the Lord. I talk to myself a lot of times, often. Amen. Sometimes I talk in my sleep. Woke up one night, had a hickey on my head. Said, now what's that you said? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do 
during the first century and now 20 centuries later, Jesus is still making house calls. Oh, brothers and sisters, if you have not had a visit from the Lord, you have missed a serious visit. Listen, the Lord will show up. Has he shown up in anyone's house? Has he come by at your, when you had a low ebb in life? You know, he'll, he'll not only come by when you are celebrating, he'll come by when you're in Sorrow's Valley. That's one of the things I love about the Lord. Listen, you in despair and despondent and wondering, how am I going to make it through this situation that I'm in? In some situations, we got ourselves into. But you know, the Lord will still show up. How many of you ever just messed up your own stuff and called to the Lord and he came and helped you? Isn't he a great God? Listen, and listen, he does not ever get tired of helping us. He knows, he knows that I'm going to blow it again and again and again. I wonder if I have, I have any kinfolks here. You done blew it over and over. And you really know that the Lord probably at some point should have told you no. He said, listen, just think if the Lord talked like us, just for a moment, entertain this conversation. You pray to the Lord, say, Lord, oh, I'll come to you the best way I know how. He said, you lying. <laughs> Father, I stretch my hands to know the help I know. He said, you're lying. You done called on everybody but me. And the only reason you're calling on me now is because you ain't got nobody else to call. Come on, talk to me, y'all. If the Lord was to talk to us the way we talk to each other, we showed up be in hell. You want to know what hell is? <laughs> pleasure without the Lord <laughs> if the Lord is not there that's hell but then there's an ultimate hell don't get it twisted it ain't no need in going through hell in this life only to go into an eternal hell now, I want that kind of hell hey 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 preach Winfrey preach Countless people, both inside and outside of Christ in this world, are suffering with some sort of sickness. Everyone you see has something that they're wrestling with. Oh, I know, I know we lie. We test a lie, I mean. I'm testify, I'm sorry for telling the truth. And no, I'm not, I ain't sorry for telling the truth. We, you know how we lied to them? Oh, ever since I met Jesus, I don't have no more problems. Everything I ask the Lord for, he gives to me. You know you lying. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, don't do that. He, no, he don't. Because some of that stuff you ask for, the Lord know you don't need it. Sometimes we want stuff just to look better than others. I want to be the envy. I, I, Lord, just, Lord, just bless me so I can make them eat their hearts out. Well, you know the Lord not into that, don't you? Lord wants us to have a loving spirit. He wants us to live nice lives, live decent, live humble lives before people. Live right, do justice. That's what the Lord wants. I'll be praying to the Lord, Lord, just give me more, make me better, make me better. Okay, I made you better. Now what you gonna do with it? Well, y'all look at me. Don't I look good? No. That's not why he's making you better. He's making you better so that you can be a help to somebody else. I want you to reach out and touch somebody. We're so afraid now. COVID has made many people afraid, right? You know, can you see a husband and wife with gloves on? Hi, hey, baby, here's your food. You know, listen, no, take them gloves off. Just wash your hands. <laughs> wash your hands and then fix, you know, feed me. You know, but no, we need to be able to view and see one another, engage with one another, reach out and touch one another, 
Say something kind to someone. You see someone with tears in eyes. Instead of sitting there, standing there trying to figure out, wonder why they cry. Why don't you walk them and just put your arm around them? Say, hey, I'm thinking about you. And walk it off. You don't, you don't need to ask them their business because the truth is sometimes you don't want to know. You know, we, well, I just, if I can just know what's going on. Why? You ain't no doctor. And some folk got some stuff so heavy it'll blow your mind. Amen. 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 Listen, folks, we all deal with pain and anguish, things that upset us, things that trouble our minds, panic attacks. I'm wondering if I'm hitting anybody here. Limbs that used to work. Don't work like they used to. You still got eyes, just can't see out of them most of the time. Still got them same old ears, just can't hear now. <laughs> Talk to me, somebody here. And you looking sometimes, you ever get angry at folk who you perceive are doing so much better than you? How can they always be happy? You all mad? Ain't nobody ever that happy. Now, if you got that much sense, know that everybody's not always happy. Why are you mad? How much sense does that make? You upset with me because you think I'm on top of the world. Child, you don't know the stuff I'm going through. He looking at me trying to side where he the pastor, and that mean what? Yeah. Pastor just as poor as he want to be. Yeah. Yeah. The only problem is, I don't know I'm poor. Because <laughs> when you're a child of the king, why would you walk around and live and act like you don't know any better? Come on, I'm trying to talk to somebody here. You in here getting happy, talking, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. And then when you lead the, the, the group, oh, I don't know. Nobody knows the trouble I see. Nobody knows. But Jesus, nobody knows. I know I'm talking to you. And then you get back in church, trouble in my way. Got to cry sometime, lay awake at night, but that's all right. Jesus, give me a feet, said, Woo! Jesus, and it's going on. And folk who just heard you belly aching, talking about, for real? Are they serious? You just got through blessing somebody. It wasn't the Lord. I heard the choir singing, bless the Lord. But uh, they ain't always blessing the Lord. <laughs> Let's look at this woman real quick. This certain woman. <laughs> it's a certain woman. Yeah. I told you it could be you. Could be a certain man. Yeah. Had gone from doctor to doctor trying to be cured of her hemorrhaging for 12 years. Y'all yeah. know seven days is something, isn't it? Yeah. But try seven years. Yeah. Now, now tack on five more years. Yeah. 12 years 
Can you imagine how many folk walked away from her? You know, folk don't mind being around you if you are eight. Well, honey, you start coughing too long. You keep scratching too long. Cry too long. Broke too long. Hungry too long. Begging for a ride too long. Honey, they see you coming, they going the other way. If you're honest enough, how many of you went the other way when you saw them coming? Only one honest enough to say I went the other way. Some of you got some kids nowadays, you see them coming, you go the other way. Uh, not today. It, it ain't happening. Some of these grandkids. <laughs> I, I, nope, not today. Oh, Grandma, you know, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a pay you back. Don't worry about it, baby. Listen, folks, a good thing to do, never lend anything that you can't afford to give away. Because you, 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 know, you know color folks and other folks who ain't got no color will borrow from you and then promise to give it back when they get their income tax check. How are you going to give it back when you get your income tax check and you don't work? Yeah. Let me ask you a few questions. Have you ever been broken? Yes. Have you ever been exhausted? Have you ever exhausted all your funds? Have you ever had your policy canceled because you made too many claims? Have you ever had to stay home because you couldn't pay for help? Have you ever been so bad off that you were at wit's end and just didn't think you'd ever get straight again? You ever felt as though nobody else really understood you, even when they said, I understand? Have you ever left church because they didn't get it? You know, in church, we make up. You, you know how we do. We put on a makeup, put our Sunday go to meet and outfits on, and give people the impression that I got it all together. Can I be honest with you? We don't all have it all together. Do you know why we are all here? I'm going to tell you, because we're not all there. You missed that. We are not all there. That's why we're here. Yeah. Yes. And we keep coming back for installments. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, folk upset with you, don't like you on general principle. Yes, you working, you, if you're still working, you're trying to earn a living, and folk mad with you yeah. because of your relationship with God. Relatives sometimes despise you because of your relationship with the Lord. They think you don't have problems because you have a smile on your face. Folks, if they, if they would be honest, I'm sick of you. Walking around with your head up. Why should I put my head down? I got enough problems. I don't need to be looking at the ground. I do like the psalmist. I lift up my eyes to the hills from what comes my help. My help doesn't come from you. It comes from the Lord. You got to wake up and smell the coffee and say, wait a minute. Understand your limits and then understand the limits of others. This lady 
in this text had spoken with specialists and doctors. Do you see the lady? Yes. Do you see the man? Do you see the child? Do you see people looking? She was just here last week. Man, she's always here. And listen, sometimes you run into some of those, those, those nasty acting receptionists in these doctor's offices. Treat you like dirt. <laughs> you are, uh, what's your name? Um, you trying to be discreet. Um, um, name is Preston. Uh, uh, what's your name? I need your name and your date of birth. Ain't got that big shield up in front of them. You want to go behind that shield. Come on, honey, what time you get off? <laughs> I got a little something, something for you. How many of you ever thought that? Don't, don't raise your hand. I remember some years ago in the church that we gave the calendar clerk calendars and said, listen, one per family. And Callum Clerk said, yes, Pastor. And she was so nice, she was just distributing those calendars. She, sweet, sweet, sweet woman. And she ran into one of those nasty saints. She said, I want two. Well, Pastor said, I don't care what Pastor said. I want two. Well, Sister, Pastor said one per family. And, you know, so I'm sorry. So that sister took that calendar and threw it at her. And that sweet calendar clerk said, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's go outside. <laughs> Y'all think I'm telling jokes. Now, now, some folk in the church are like that. Can I ask you, have you run into any of those personalities? Folk who's nasty and mean? They don't come to worship, they come to speculate. <laughs> Comes, they, they, they can see everything wrong. They don't see nothing right. Hey Amen. Yeah. Pastor's too long. Well, he's too long for a reason. Try to convert your tail. You ain't had nothing before you got up in here. Ain't got nothing since you've been sitting here. Trying to give you something before you leave here. Man, I ought to preach in a t-shirt more often. That felt pretty good. <laughs> How am I doing here? This woman had a conversation with herself. She had talked with the doctors, talked with the specialists. She said, it's time for me to have a call, talk with me. She said, self? Self said, what is it? She said, we got to do something different. We run out of bus fare, no more Uber money. Doctors don't want to see us. And I almost got into a fight with that receptionist. I'm too sick and bloody to be up in jail. And all of a sudden she got a text. She had a screen that she could see. And it said that there was a stranger <laughs> coming through town. And she Googled this stranger and discovered that this stranger had healings, had deliverance, had power. She kept looking and said he's water in dry places. Bread when you're hungry. And she kept reading, she kept scrolling, say he can fix anything that's broke. 
But then she got all the way down and saw he's a doctor. Has never lost a patient. And she said to herself, I, I got to touch him. I've got to touch him. And, and, and she, she, she looked and said, the calendar said he's in town today. Yes. <laughs> and you know what she did, don't you? She made her way to the parade. And she pressed her way. But there were so many folks around. You know, there's going to always be folk around and somebody in the crowd don't always want what you need. You know, you, you got to be careful about those who's always trying to block your blessings. Amen. Hey, folk, folk don't know what you need. They don't need it and they don't think you need it. She spotted him. How many of you know sisters can spot a fella when she wants to? Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, uh, how, how many of you know a brother can spot a sister when he wants to? That's him. Said, but too many folk around, folk around who don't need him, folk around who don't want him, folk just around. If saints, you got to be careful about some folk, because if you're careful, if you're not careful, they'll block your blessings, keep you from making progress in life. You got to learn how to work the crowd. You got to learn how to get past some folk to get your blessings. You, you can't be sitting around telling them, well, oh, Ray Ray don't want me to be blessed. You need to take your eyes off of Ray Ray. Sometimes some of those stumbling blocks need to become stepping stones. Oh, you don't hear me here. Now, there's some things and sometimes there's some folk that you just need to step on. They ain't moving out your way, just Why are you stepping on me? Because you've trifling You in my way Don't you let nobody hold you back from your blessings Folk tell me I quit going to church Because there's too many mean folk In the church house I say you still work? Yeah, ain't no mean folk there you run into mean folk in a church, change your seat. But don't you lose your blessing. Because if somebody ain't got good religion. Have I got a witness here? This woman saw Jesus. And she said, excuse me, please. Folk tell me, I've been here all day waiting on him. But the truth is, you don't want him. You just don't want me to get him. Lady said, no, I've, I, I've got real issues here. Well, all of us, sister, got issues. Honey, there comes a time when you don't need to be conversing with folks. When you know what you need, you need to go after it. Have I got a witness here? You got to have some determination. You got to have a want to. Oh, yeah. I can see this lady. She's trying to politely move folk. But they were Negro thick. I ain't moving. I've been here all day. Folk in the church tell me, I've been here all these years. Honey, you just got here. You need to sit down and wait your time. Yeah, but pastor called for some help. Well, baby, let Jesus help him. No, Jesus sent me here to help him. And I'm going to be blessed. Have I got a witness here? This lady started working the crowd. Folk would move. She said, well, they're tight up top, but they're loose down at the bottom. 
I see this lady as she drops down to her knees as she starts crawling crawling through the lead, the knees and the legs of people what is she doing she's trying to make a connection because she had already said to herself if I can just touch the hem of his garments yes I know I'm going to be made whole and bless God's name that woman finally reached through where she could touch the hem of the garment of Jesus she touched him and the parade stopped Jesus said, whoa, somebody, ooh, what's wrong, Jesus? He said, somebody touched me. Jesus got an instant high, if you will. They said, what is it? Are you all right? He said, virtue has left my body. He said, somebody, whew, Somebody touched me. And Jesus was looking around. He saw a lot of faces standing in a lot of spaces. And they said, well, Jesus, everybody has been getting a touch on you. He said, no, this was a special touch. He kept looking around. But what Jesus finally does is he looked down. And he saw this lady looking up at him and said Jesus it was me it was me that touched you and Jesus said your faith has made you whole I wonder has anyone here man been made whole is there anybody here who touched Jesus when you touch him he'll touch you won't he do it I said won't he do it oh has he touched you has he touched you Somebody said he touched me on a Monday. Touched me on a Tuesday. Well, now I've got the testimony. Every day is a day of thanksgiving. Because he touches me every God so loved the world. Gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him should not perish. He died, you know. But death couldn't keep him in the grave. Death couldn't keep his eyes shut. Early Sunday morning, his eyes opened up. He beheld a new day. This is resurrection day. And he got it with all power in his hands he's coming back church get your house in order don't you leave here today letting another person stop you from touching the Lord this thing is personal this is not you're not going to be blessed based on a crowd the Lord is going to bless you for what you do my trust in him is not going to help you. It only serves as a demonstration of my trust. But what the Lord wants is your faith. You look to him. Amen. Amen. He's coming back and I want to be ready when he comes. I don't know when he's coming. Folk have predicted, say, well, he's going to come in this year. Listen, folk, don't believe that. Just believe that in his own time, He's going to come back again. Amen. Door of the church is open. Might be somebody here. There's a stranger in the city. He's healing. I just got the news this morning that he's healing. You know there's a stranger in the city healing he's healing the body and Jesus is healing the sin sick soul the door is open if there's another one come on the doctor in the city they're all mad 
His miracles were causing too much talk. They didn't believe that Jesus didn't use medicine when he told the lame man to pick up his bed and walk. Oh, a stranger in the city he's healing. You don't need any money. The man is healing. A stranger in the city he's healing. He's healing the body. Jesus is healing the sin sick soul. Come on and sing with me. He's healing. He's healing. Healing. He's healing. Healing. I tell you, he's healing. Come on and sing it. He's healing. He's healing. Oh, I know he's healing. He'll pick up a bow down head. He'll heal a wounded spirit. He'll give you joy in your soul. He'll give you peace of mind. I know that he's healing. Oh, he's healing. Is there another one? He's healing. No matter what your situation is, he's healing the body. Jesus is healing the sin sick soul. One more time. Don't you know, don't you know he's healing? He's healing. He's healing. Oh, he's healing. Touch from the man will make everything all right. Is there anybody here today who know that he's healing? I said, is there anybody here who know that he's healing? What does he heal? He can heal cancer. He can heal diabetes. He 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 can heal rheumatism. He can heal poor vision. He can heal you in the morning. He can heal you in the evening. He's healing. Woo! I know he's healing. He's healing the body. And Jesus is healing a sin sick soul. A stranger in the city. And I know he's healing. He healed me one day. And I'm not what I used to be. Not all that I should be, but because he healed me, I'm not what I used to be. Let's hear it. Praise the Lord. Let's hear from the clerk. Pastor Winfrey and Pioneer, we have coming back under restoration our own brother uh, Kevin Miller, uh, reuniting back with Pioneer. Amen. <laughs> brother Kevin? I was reading scripture a few nights ago and it said when Moses was on the hill and it reminded me I'm a pastor and it said as long as his hands was held up as long as they were holding him they were winning pastor I want us to win I want to help 
these men here yes. hold your hands up. Because as long as they hold your hands up, we got we gonna win. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Brother Kevin, for those of you who don't know, uh, has been a member and he's driving truck across the country and was and wasn't physically here. But physically and spiritually, he has been here, yes. been faithful due to electronics he's been supporting. Yes. And now he comes back and reunites. Yes. Those women receive Brother Kevin back by restoration. Say amen. 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 Your zone deacon. Brother Price, zone deacon for the moment and we thank you we get you orientated and once um, uh, i think we've got a nice little crew now for orientation we'll get that set up and those of others of you who say well listen i don't want to miss the orientation you don't want to miss it uh, uh, we get you orientated then bring you back give you the right hand of fellowship giving you the rights and privileges of all members of the house Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Heaven smile on you. Is our prayer. confused don't they we thank God for his blessings and for the gift of life and we thank God listen every chance you get to do better and to better your situation do it God will continue to bless you let us stand praise God come on praise God Praise him, all creatures. The mill sap, bless you, man. All creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I just want to praise God for me being here now. I didn't have to come here. My wife had somewhere else to go in the car. And I said, well, maybe I ain't got to go now. But the Holy Spirit said for me to come on anyway. So I had to walk here. And I praise God because even as I was walking, I could feel joy. I wasn't just walking, baby. I was dancing my way here. There is something about the Holy Spirit that is much more than we realize. And yes, I can't wait for God to come, but I praise God because he's already here. He's omnipresent and he's given his Holy Spirit to live in us. There are more things, even as I as retired as a pastor, God has more things of me doing with other people, other churches, other schools, other nations, other cities. God is not through, and I'm not just talking about me, I just want to say, God is not through with you. So as I give this last prayer, before I pray myself, I want everybody to just hold your hands right now. 
and just whatever the Holy Spirit is saying to you right now pray right now just for a minute and then I'll begin whatever God is saying to you and father I thank you for your presence and for your power I thank you for all you've done all you're doing and all you shall do you've given us power over all the works of the devil if we just confess our sins you will exalt us and we need to humble ourselves and be exalted by you for if we confess our sins you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness and father i praise you and i thank you for all you've done all you're doing i pray for this place this this church all churches all people all over the world all nations all races everybody lord because we all are brothers and sisters in christ and now in the name of jesus christ our lord and savior rest rule and abide in our hearts our homes our families our jobs our schools every area of our lives our churches and may we all humble ourselves and be obedient to him i give you praise yahweh god the father yeshua god the son ruach akodesh god the holy spirit that is one person three things but that is of the one person and I praise you, Lord, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Those who agree, say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Amen. Sing together. Go oh, in peace now. Oh.